The moment is now. Are you ready? Let's play Armis. Alright, let's take a look at this random setup. Let's get that there. Everything else looks okay. Let's get started. Okay, what I'm going to try to do is to use my mover to move in uh, my aircraft carrier, the starters, and quite possibly, hopefully, my Coast Guard. But it all depends on what my opponent does. Alright, now my Marine can go one, two, three, or three. Either way, they're both covered. Okay, let's, uh, I, I want to place the aircraft carrier in deep waters, but before I do that I want to take a look at the, my opponent's air force. The jet is not in line, I mean the helicopter is not in line for any problems, but the jet is in line, um, and we might have some problem with this, so let's, let's look at it a little closer. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I place my jet here, my opponent can fly over and land here and uh, take my aircraft carrier out of deep water. So I want to place this here. This provides double coverage using my vice president to cover my um, jet as well as the uh, coverage for the religion and child. Additionally, it, uh, the, the primary function right now is to make sure that the jet can't land here so that it can't take out my air force if I put it in here. Okay, then my next move would be to use my mover to push the uh, submarine over here, and then, alright, I'm just taking a look, yeah, that's still fine. Him being here, my, uh, or should I say, the vice president threatening my helicopter is not a big deal. My um, marine is covering the uh, hel helicopter. If this marine comes down a little further, even so that it, it is also threatening, so that there's double coverage, or double threat, I should say, then uh, I'll have to pay a little bit more attention. Okay, so now we'll place that there. Now remember, the, uh, the, the vice president can move up to four spaces. One, two, three, four, in a straight line. So if I use my uh, Marine to go here or here, my uh, this uh, uh, Vice President can take the Marine if I go into either one of these spaces. So I, I'm probably going to have to uh, move out of the way. Let 
Now the choice is to use my, uh, well I can't use my nuke because then it will, I, well I can. If I use, this is a heavy thought. Okay, I'm going to use my uh, diplomat to go here. That instead of making two moves, um, I'm just going to allow uh, my mover to push the sub over here, uh, using it as a fortress, and then I can use the mover to move the coast guard into coastal waters. The jet is not threatening the uh, diplomat because it can't take the diplomat. Only the my opponent's executive can take the diplomat. Okay, with the submarine over here, I'm not going to be able to uh, put it into coastal waters. Once it's on, on this back line, anywhere over here, you, you can't take it off. It's not a rule, it's just impossible to do. Let's just take a. It may, uh, my opponent made a move, and let's just examine the move. If it goes here, it does nothing. If it goes here, it does nothing. So it doesn't look like uh, it's going to cause any trouble for right now. Let's see if. Alright, it says if I use the jet, I can go here. Now if I go here, let me see if I can threaten this marine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, it's not worth using a move over, but that's that's an option. Now this marine can take this Coast Guard, but then I will use my uh, Marine to take his Marine. So right now my Marine is covering the Coast Guard, um, and the Coast Guard is not yet threatening the Marine because it can only go two spaces, one, two. Now it is threatening the Marine, and it's out of the line uh, uh, flight path of the jet and nowhere near the flight path of the helicopter. Okay, now we have two Marines on one side. So that's not good. Uh, you, you, you want to pay some closer attention when the two are near to each other. One, two, three, four. That's not good. Uh, I wanted to try to bring the helicopter over here, but uh, I guess it would have been a good move for me to earlier to move the jet from here to here. Um, because then it would have opened up this space. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Right now, this jet is under threat. And let's see what else. All right, the my president has double coverage from both Marines. I'm sorry, my vice president has double coverage. Uh, religion also has double coverage. One, two, three. Uh, the only thing that doesn't have double coverage is the jet. So I just need to.
place this here so that now I have double coverage from the vice president and the president or should I say triple coverage from the vice president the president and the marine if this marine stays here I'll use my coast guard to go here to try to move it That works out pretty good for the uh, for my opponent. Well, should I say not too bad because he's gonna get this helicopter um, in a, when I move the uh, marine out of place to cover for this marine when this marine attacks. Yeah, that worked out pretty good for my opponent. He could either even come down here and take this diplomat, although I will take it with my president, or, uh, well, I can take it with the president, the army, or the marine. Okay, even though it feels like I am up, uh, because I have both of my opponent's Marines, my opponent has the mar a Marine, a helicopter, and a Vice President. If I... I'm thinking if I use my... Well, all right. Hmm. This is a tough one. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. It is not likely that my opponent is going to be able to capture my Coast Guard. So I'm going to try to use my Coast Guard to come over here and to block off this area. Um from uh, or maybe even over here I'm not sure but uh, right here now I have the army the president and the vice president all within the blast zone now because only three of my two of the three of my um, executives uh, not executive, I'm sorry, military pieces have been taken. Another one needs to be taken before I can make it, uh, before I can activate it. Okay. If the army or the vice president takes this jet which is now being used as bait then I will activate my nuke and take out these three pieces which are very critical pieces at this point uh, after this only the jet and helicopter are the uh, main of offensive pieces So now I have a, a very, very strong chance of uh, winning the game. Uh, if I'm able to get the child over to the nuke to take that out um, without getting captured by the helicopter, 
then that will be very good as well. The diplomat I forfeited because I activated my nuke. Both the uh, when you activate your nuke, your um, diplomat is forfeited. Okay, and with that, the major threat, or all of the major threats, are gone. The helicopter is a mid-range threat, and the jet is not much of a threat, because it, it just takes a long, uh, it, it's, a, it's a big threat for sea vessels, but not so much for anything else. With this move, I'm threatening both of these pieces, but I'm really on my way to the reserve. If I get one on the way, that's fine. If not, it's no big deal. My, my next move is probably going to be around here somewhere. Okay, so the thought was to take the... Well... I was going to take the helicopter with my marine, but that will take me at least two more moves to get down here. But I can use my president a little bit faster. In those same few moves to get here, I can now take the president to use use the president to take my opponent's helicopter and then come down here and take the. Uh, reserve, or should I say threaten the reserve, as well as the president for uh, future capture. Okay, as you can see, the president, uh, the army and the reserve are down next to the flag. Uh, I'm not going to pay too much attention to the jet because it can't really do anything uh, at, at this point. And the, s the same goes for the uh, aircraft carrier. Um, even if it was able to take the my aircraft carrier, that would be no big deal. I'd let it go because uh, the aim is to take the flag. Thanks for watching. Let Have a good day.